day eight of at-home learning. Let's see what our activities are for today. All right, first of all, in reading. Today, we're gonna think about what the author wanted to teach you and how they actually made that whole book come together. You're gonna either share your thoughts with someone or you can write about it. So what do you think the author wanted to teach you and how did they do that? How did they get that book to come together and teach that, that lesson to you or what they wanted you to learn? Okay, in writing today, great authors can make their readers feel and also think about the story. Can you make your story do that too? So you want your story to make your reader really have a feelings, right? They have kind of a picture of that here. Are they happy? Are they worried? Are they sad um, when they're reading your story? And then you also want them to be thinking. So go back and reread your story so far and see what you can add to it. Today in math, we're going to complete one or two lessons in Dreambox, and we're going to look at today's problem, which starts right here. If you don't know the sum of the numbers eight and five, what is a good strategy you can use to help you figure out the answer? Like what are other facts with a sum less than 20 that you do have a strategy for? And is there any way that could help you? So there's your hint, right? Any other facts that you know that help you? Pretend you don't know the answer to that. Eight plus five, how could you figure it out quickly? All right, make sure you do your movement for today. Make sure you go down and see your choice board activities for today. And can't wait to see what you come up with and do your very best thinking. Have a great day eight.